Hello. Today we're going to do another first grade missing add-in problem with Scoop the dog and she's going to be live in action. So Scoop's a different kind of dog. She's a retriever, which means she likes to fetch things. So watch a video of Scoop putting her head underwater and fetching rocks. So here's our math problem today about that. Scoop fetched five rocks. Then she brought more to the shore. Now Scoop has fetched seven rocks. How many more rocks did Scoop bring to the shore? So I'm going to start with a target sentence because I want to know what my answer is about. And my answer should be about rocks. So I'm going to say blank rocks. And in fact, I'm going to be even more specific because my question is about more rocks. So I'm going to say blank, more, rocks. And I'm going to figure out what goes in that blank. So I need to make sense of this problem, and I'm going to start with a drawing. Okay. In this case, I could do a couple different drawings. One thing I'm going to draw is a 10 frame. So I can draw my 10 frame by drawing a rectangle, cutting it in half, and then drawing four more lines to make five equal parts. And what I'm going to put in there are scoops rocks. So she fetched five rocks, so I'm going to draw five R's. But then she ended up with seven rocks. So she had five, and she ended up with seven. So I'm going to make a different symbol in there. I'm going to put the letter S. So I know that she started with five and ended up with seven. So seven, scoop, 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 scoop. Oh, and then those guys. So right now, it seems like I started with five as a part, seven is the total number of rocks she has, and I don't know my missing part, but I think my picture helped me figure out my missing part is probably two. So I'm thinking it's two rocks. Another way I could do it is I could draw linking cubes. I have five, so I'm going to draw five cubes together. That's what I started with. And I ended with seven, so I'm going to draw seven linking cubes. And again, I can see that my difference is that two more rocks. So I'm going to write it in my target sentence, and I'm going to write it in my number bond. Now, when I go to my equation, in this question, I started with five. I had some more. I don't know what that could be, but I know my total is seven, so I'm missing that add end. Now, in a subtraction sentence, we want to start with the total. We're going to take away 5 to find how many is left. So these two purple boxes, the missing add end, is the answer to a subtraction question. Now I could do it a bunch of different ways, right? I could start at 5, and I could count on to 7. Squeeze 5, 6, 7 means I made one, two jumps to get to 7. Or what I could do is I could take 5 away. So I could start at 7, and I'm going to take 5 away. One, Two, three, four, five, meaning I landed on my solution of two. So the missing addend is the answer to a subtraction problem. It's the difference between two lengths. Hey, let's check out some facts about the Susquehanna River. That's where Scoop was fetching. So we live in New York, and the Susquehanna River starts in Cooperstown, where the Baseball Hall of Fame is and runs all the way down to the Chesapeake Bay in Maryland. Geologists, meaning scientists who study rocks, have discovered that this is one of the oldest rivers on Earth, older than the mountains around it. Pretty cool to know that's where you live. Have a great day, first graders.